And now, Public Access Television presents Men on Books. Hello, I'm Blaine Edwards. And I'm Antoine Merriweather. And welcome, welcome to, to Men, Men on, on Books. Books. The show that looks at great literature from the past and present. From a male point of view. <laughs> Tonight we have a new sponsor. Yes, and I'm Tickled Pink. <laughs> this show is brought to you by Wang. Don't they make computers? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our first classic is a book called Robinson Crusoe. It's all about a story of a white man who suddenly finds himself stranded on a desert island and how he forms a beautiful friendship with a virile yet submissive black man. The author is Daniel Defoe. Now, if he's anything like that cute little Willem Defoe, I'll be his Friday, Saturday answer. <laughs> is Little Women. Hated it. <laughs> then, of course, there's Little Men. Hated it. <laughs> then we have Roughing It. It's a happy tale. <laughs> yes, if this is a story about men romping through the wilderness <laughs> at a time when our country was still open to exploration. <laughs> It was written by Samuel Longhorn Clemens, <laughs> known to most people as Mark Twain. You know, if I ever had a son, I'd love to name him Longhorn. If you ever have a son, I'd grow all my hair back. Oh. <laughs> oh, you gonna make me read you on public access. <laughs> Don't get mad. <laughs> Look, I know who I am, do you? <laughs> Well, show me them little pearlies. Now, that's the twan I know. Now we're coming to the last book, which is truly my personal favorite. This one's called Moby Dick. Open the portholes, there's a man overboard. I get goose pimply just thinking about that big Mr. Moby. Uh, red light. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Moby is a whale. I bet he is. <laughs> this book gets the yet unheard of Zorro snap in Z formation. really got wrapped up in this story of men out on the open sea, danger lurking around every corner, and them all snuggled up in them tiny little cabins. Just made me want to hoist my sail and shove off with them. <laughs> me too. I paid top dollar just to be a stowaway in that store. <laughs> oh, ditto. Well, that's our show for tonight. Yes, join us next time when we'll be reviewing some of Dickens. <laughs> yes, we'll be talking about the classic A Tale of Two Cities. I hope one of them is San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs>